so hi guys welcome back for the new session so in this session you will be learning python web session id creation in alex blue so i'll be going directly for the subject so here i have been already installed the web session packages so if i'm through github so i'll be sharing the github links and all in the description so you can just copy you can just download the zip file and you can just uh, uh, run in the pycharm so how you how to run in pycharm i'll be explaining in this session initially i have been installed and extracted the file so once extracted the file uh, so you go for main file click on mail file so just open in uh, open with pycharm with the latest version so once open so it will be asking you a pop up of a trusted project and all so just click on trusted project so once click once done so just go to terminal and install a file that is pip install hyphen r space requirements dot txt so once install the requirements the installments or the requirements so click on enter click on enter so this uh, the the, uh, the files have been already installed so as on that's why i got the error so so here so once installed click on uh, once uh, done every process so here you get a client key option so in this client key option you need to enter your client id so that is i'm using my demo i user ids so that you can use your details so here in api key so you need to enter the api key so that is not your session id nor your uh, secret key so this api key you will be getting in your uh, a3 allegeblue online.com so that link everything will be uh, shared in your description so here oh, once you uh, once you are in a3.allegeblue online.com you have to re, uh, re log in with your credentials so once done go for apps and apps api key so here you'll get your api key so just copy and come back for pycharm and click here so paste it in within the inverted commas in api key so once done so click or uh, just save it once save it so just run it so once you click on run so here you'll be getting uh, all the details uh, with the symbols with token ids everything you'll be getting so here as you see so this is how web session id is been created in python thank you